turtle path. Fifteen inflatable turtles form a single unbroken line that leads to a treasured island of safety. Contestants must sprint and slide their way across, chased by a couple of pirates, Yo-Ho-Ho -Ho and a bottle of rum. Strange names. As always, the general has some inspiring words, or maybe he's trying to sell them a timeshare scheme. Whatever, they do look a little bit inspired. First up is Siang, not looking turtly confident, but he has to believe. For him, the road to the castle starts here. And ends there. That was shell shopping. Let's hope the door can do better. Can she tread the turtle path to glory? Uh, no, she can't. She also turtles on the second turtle. So far, this has been a turtle disaster. But this guy looks like he's on a roll. I like his style. He's even enjoying some pre-game bounce with the general. Now, can he deliver? Oh, he can. This is more like it. He's just doing it. And the pirates have both sunk. Typical pirates. They love their R&R, &R, or as they call it, R&R. Let's hope that gives the others some encouragement. It's time for Pond to strut her stuff. Eventually. What's the opposite of Fast and Furious? And the second turtle claims another victim. He puts the tower into tower pin. It's the Groundhog Day. Different contestant, same result. A slam dunk for the second step. And another one goes down. This is Turtle Ageddon. Oh, I can barely watch. This isn't just a path, it's a psychopath. Psychopath, path, path, get it? But at last, Aeon has survived the second step, the toughest second step outside of an AA program. He's still got plenty of work to do, but he's leaving the pirates in his wake. This isn't just a victory for Aeon, it's a victory for us all. A reminder to Turtle Kind that we are still their masters. We win!